The New Yorker has a very, um, it, it wants very specific things from its cartoonists. It, it normally doesn't want anything very political. It doesn't want anything very mean. Um, and it doesn't want anything autobiographical, which is a problem for me a little bit because that's what, what I'm good at. So that's why I make cartoons for Instagram. But um, yeah, I, I think The New Yorker is the opposite of Charlie Hebdo in a lot of ways. It, it's very, it, it has this kind of distance from things. It, it looks on, it doesn't, um, it has very good taste. Before I, I started doing Instagram, I, I, was, I was making books. So I worked for a really long time, years without showing anyone. And then I would finally have this big thing to show. And I never really felt like I was communicating. I felt like I was like crafting something. And now with Instagram, when I have an idea, I can turn it, I, I turn it into a drawing in order to explain it to myself. And I post it right away. And it, it's so nice not to have to go through an editor and who who decides what what I think is allowed to be shown to people. I get to choose for myself. I, yeah, and I, I really like it. I don't like political cartoons, though. I, I just don't understand them. But I, I also don't understand politics. So there might be a connection. But yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone would go to prison for making a Trump cartoon. I think Clinton is, is pretty much like what, like Obama in, in many ways. I think she's wonderful. I'm really excited that a woman is finally running. It's, it's I, I could go on and on about how, in, how mad it is that we're not, we haven't noticed that there hasn't been a woman president before. I think if Trump wins, um, I, I don't know what will happen, but, um, but I've, I've been noticing a lot of comparisons between our times in America now and, and the Weimar Republic in Germany before, and, and um, I, don't want, I don't want that to end. I can't remember any, and, and if I don't, it's because there aren't a lot of works in translation in the United States, and I read a lot of French comics. I take special trips to Montreal in order to buy comics because I read decent French, and, and I don't read good enough Italian to be able to read Italian comics. I, I love Itali old Italian movies a lot, and I love Elena Ferrante a lot. And, and I would love to, I think my Italian will be good enough pretty soon and I'll, I'll start to look for some. Ciao, grazie.